guys and welcome to my frozen to death tutorial. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure your face is clean and moisturized. I am using Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E Skincare Cream. This will help protect your skin from the makeup as well as making it easier to remove. Now I'm going in with a white cream makeup and applying this to my hair to create kind of a frozen hair look. You don't have to do this with cream makeup, <laughs> that's just all I had available at the time. You can use a white hairspray that you can get at Walmart around Halloween time and you want your hair to be super super stiff so hairspray is a good idea just to kind of get that frozen hair look. Now I'm going in with a white cream Ben Nye color and a cosmetic sponge and applying that to my whole face and your eyes. Make sure you coat your eyebrows very well with this color just to kind of get frozen hair again. If I were wearing this costume out of the house, I would definitely bring the white down my neck and onto any skin on my chest and arms that were showing, and my ears. Now I'm just going in with a blue cream paint and applying that lightly up to my lips to create kind of a dead lip look and blending that down away from my lips as well. Now I am taking a square brush and that white cream and applying this to my water lines and squeezing my eyes shut to kind of get the color on the top of my eyelids as well. You want to just gently rub this color in with your fingers. You want to apply this to your eyelids as well just to create a nice white base for the eyeshadow you'll be applying later. Now I'm taking a orangish red color, pinkish orange color, sorry, and applying that with the same brush below the white I just applied. To this will help make your eyes look kind of swollen and more dead, I guess.
Now I'm going in with a silver, shimmery, silvery, <laughs> mint green color and applying this with a brush all over my lids, all the way up to my eyebrows. I'm also going to apply this color to the inner corners of my eyes and the bottom outer corners of my eyes as well. Now I'm taking a shimmery cream color and applying that with the same brush to my um, crease. Now I'm taking the same cream white I've used before and the same brush I used with it and applying this like I would a mascara to my eyelashes just to kind of make your eyelashes look like they're frozen into place and maybe have some ice on them. You could also use a white mascara but I didn't have one so I just used this cream paint. Now I'm taking that same color I used below my eyes and applying that to my cheeks just to kind of get a windburnt, cold look to my cheeks. If you apply too much like I did, <laughs> you can go back in with a cosmetic sponge and that white cream face paint and kind of blend it out a bit. You want to bring this onto your nose as well, onto the tip of your nose as well, just to kind of, again, create that cold look. Now I am taking sugar, <laughs> just kitchen sugar, normal granulated sugar and a eyelash adhesive and applying this to my brows to kind of look like ice frozen to my eyebrows. It's a really cool effect. On top of this I did later decide to apply a white glitter which I'll show at the end of the video just to kind of get a snowy shimmery look to my eyebrows and lips. Now you want to apply the sugar to your lips as well. You don't need to use the eyelash adhesive on your lips. This is the glitter I used on my eyebrows and lips and right below on the tops of my cheekbones below my eyes. Hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun making this video, and if you guys try it, send me some pictures. I'd love to see. Thanks for watching.